Hello everyone, this is Reggie the Appliance Nerd. Uh, got some more information for you guys. Um, just on how these dryers work. This particular dryer, um, very popular, it's a Whirlpool brand. So you take the back cover off. This is what most of the Whirlpool, Kenmore, Roper, etc. Uh, look like. So on this particular one, I'm repairing it outside so, you have a, so it looks a lot better on camera. Uh, in this particular one, I plugged it in, hit the start button, and nothing happened. So first thing you do is this white fuse here is a thermal fuse, thermal shot fuse. And what that does is when this overheats, and this is basically where your hot air blows out uh, to your vent hose and then blows outside, uh, if this part reaches a particular temperature, um, it will automatically cut off to prevent a fire. Now that usually blows if like the lint screen isn't changed or there's some sort of restriction here or again the, the uh, um, exhaust going to the outside is clogged up or blocked or you got like a bird's nest something like that. Uh, that's typical for these. Uh, here is another thermal fuse which turns off if the heat element gets hot, gets too hot. Um, and then this is your regu heat regulator. And so usually those two go together. So this heat regulator will maintain a certain temperature inside the dryer. So it cuts off at a certain high temperature and cuts off at a certain low temperature. Usually it's about a 40 uh, degree range. So in this particular one, I got my voltmeter. So first thing I do is test this fuse. No continuity. See, you hear that beep? That means it's continuity. Continuity is basically voltage coming from this one and end up in this one. This is, this is supposed to connect it. So this has no continuity, which means that fuse is bad. But you do not stop there. So the, uh, you can assume that the vents were clogged. That's caused that. But you still keep going to test the rest of the, rest of the fuses. So um, next thing you do is test the heating element. That has continuity, which is supposed to, which is good. And then you go up here and test this thermal fuse. No continuity, which is bad. Now, if that's blown, that tells me this must have overheated. But this is showing out, showing that it's good. So this fuse could be bad. But you do another test, which a lot of people won't tell you to do, is test to see if the heat element is grounding out. You do that by putting your probes on one part, and then on the, on the frame. So you hear beeping. That's continuity. That's bad. So that means it's touching. So now this is you're almost like a detective when it's fixing these things. So basically what's going on, uh, the, 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 the story, and I feel like I'm playing a game of Clue. Uh, the story here, Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick here. Um, the heating went grounded out. So when it's plugged in, it basically even when the dryer was off, the heat element was, heat element was on the whole time because it was grounding out. See, this thing cuts it off. But if it's touching the frame, that means the coils were still getting red hot. And what basically happened was this hit a certain temperature and turned off uh, because it, it, sensed it, that, it sensed that the heating element was on uh, and hit a certain temperature. But this only cuts off the heating element if the dryer is on. And what basically happened was the whole dryer probably got overheated and as a backup, this thing blew too. Um, but this, uh, despite all those redundancies, this thing probably was still on, which is a fire hazard. Sorry, sorry to put back camera work. Uh, this thing was probably still on, which is a fire hazard, the heat element. Um, so just be careful. And usually you can tell if a heat element is grounded out is when you hear your, your, your dryer off. Obviously it's still going to be hot if you just got done using it, but if you just open the door up, turn the light off and you'll see it if you see it glowing red you know it's uh grinding out and just unplug it and that'll solve it uh anyway like my page any questions leave comments below thanks